All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end-user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Uh, hi, everyone. So today I'm going to do a demo of Informatica Power Center code conversion into DBT for Snowflake. Uh, I'm going to take this mapping uh, as an example. It has uh, the regular uh, transformation types that you, you normally see in Informatica source qualifier, a couple of transforms, filters, aggregators, and a couple of targets. Uh, prior to running the convert, we need to export the code out of Informatica. Um, I have it done already, so the code looks like this, typical Informatica metadata structures in XML. Um, to run the converter, I am executing this command, info to any. So our converters come in a form of executable. They can be run on Linux and Windows. Uh, typically, a converter is a package of a reader and a writer. So we we have readers and writers built separately. So we can pair uh, different readers to different writers depending on the need for a particular project for, or, or by a particular client. Um, a converter will typically take a license uh, key as as, as uh, one of the arguments, the input XML file or whatever the metadata comes in the output folder into which we want to generate the code and configuration file. Now, the majority of the configs that converters come with are open, which means that the users on the project can edit them and actually direct how the converter should take on the conversion. So uh, things that you can uh, control are function translations or translations of certain keywords from source technology to another technology or perhaps the, the flow or some refactoring of the original jobs into the into the target platform. So to run the job, I'm going to go ahead and kick off this shell script that contains um, the executable. Info to dbt. Uh, my output folder is this. So it's an empty dbt models folder. So obviously it doesn't have to be empty. It can, can have already pre-converted models. Uh, but one of the prerequisites for converting into dbt, you need to have this structure of, um, of folders that dbt produces when you initialize a project. So once I run it, the converter will take uh, the original XML file, will traverse the metadata, and will generate the code that's compatible with uh, Snowflake and dbt. It follows the um, pattern of naming the uh, folders after Informatica folders. So this particular folder in Informatica is called Converse from Infra. Same here. And under that, we have the name of the Informatica mapping. And under that folder, we have the list of uh, SQL files that uh, mimic the structure or, or, or the naming convention of the original uh, Informatica transformation. So for each component in Informatica, our converter generates a standalone SQL file. Uh, and that, that comprises uh, an entire job that you want to run in dbt. So a file, one of the files that you know, we generate, this is what it looks like if I were to open it up in editor. So it's a, it's a readable SQL file with dbt constructs such as this reference and to and the reference to prior node. Uh, so in order to run dbt, all I need to execute is um, this command, dbt run models, and then the name of the models that I want to execute. Uh, prior to doing that, I just want to go into Slake and make sure that my tables are all empty. So we can generate incremental models uh, or we, we can we don't have to specify incremental models. The converter can generate pre and post hooks depending on, on what it finds in Informatica code. Uh, so all, all those options are configurable. Um, so there's nothing in those tables. I'm going to go ahead and run the converter and it will populate, uh, sorry, not the converter, uh, dbt executable, and it will populate these two structures. Um, one thing I want to mention is that besides converting uh, ETL code into your target platform, what the converter can do, it can penetrate SQL components such as uh, source qualifier or perhaps pre and post components uh, or attributes and convert code from the legacy platform 
into uh, into the new platform. So, for example, if you have Informatica and Teradata or Informatica and Nitiza combination, that can be all converted into your target platform, such as Snowflake. So I'm going to go ahead and run the DBT job. So that, that will take a few seconds. And DBT will start giving us uh, messages. So again, the code that got generated is is pretty much the same code as a developer would have to write by hand if they were to replicate the logic of the job. But obviously, converter can, uh, can do that in, in a matter of seconds. And you can have the converter convert um, hundreds or thousands of jobs um, uh, at a time as opposed to just doing one job at a time. All right, so, so the dbt uh, command ran, and now I should have data in my Snowflake tables. Yep. So all the logic that I had in Informatica got, got converted automatically in SQL, in, in DBT form as a SQL, and, um, and uh, I'm able to run the job and, and get the code as, and get the data in the output tables as, as my original Informatica file. Now, really quickly, I want to go into the config files. One of the options that I'm providing to this converter, and that goes for all of our converters, all the BladeBridge converters, is a config file. Uh, config files are important because they tell the converter how exactly to operate and what to convert to what. Uh, so one of the uh, instructions here is uh, that I'm enabling dbt mode, which means that instead of generating a single SQL file, the converter will generate a set of files that are compatible with dbt models. Uh, another instruction here is um, ETL convert, con uh, convert config file, which tells the converter how to process Informatica language and how to convert that to Snowflake. So if I open up this file, info to snowflake.json file, um, that file is comprised of a set of sections that tell the converter how to convert lines, uh, blocks of code, I don't have anything in here, or how to uh, translate functions from Informatica to Snowflake or to any other target platform. So one of my instructions in uh, Informatica was a um, function called uh, date diff with a, with a set of arguments. In Snowflake, the equivalent of that is date diff without the underscore, but the list of, of um, parameters or the position of the parameters needs to change. So um, what we're telling the converter here is whenever it encounters date underscore diff function to convert it to this output template date diff without the underscore and plug in the third argument uh, into the first position, keep the second argument in its uh, current position and plug in the first argument into the, uh, the last position. Now, those arguments do not have to be a single tokens. They, they can be nested expressions or nested function calls, and the converter will handle those as well. Uh, you can expand the list of functions. Uh, one question that um, you might ask, uh, how do I know which functions need to go into, uh, into the config? So first of all, converters do come with, uh, with a prepackaged set of uh, translation instructions. Secondly, when you run the analyzer, one of the uh, pieces of information that analyzer will produce is the list of all the functions that are being called with accounts uh, across the entire Informatica source code or, or SQL code or, or any other ETL tool. So that's how you know what to plug in into your um, config file. So just to recap, um, I ran the converter. I converted ETL code into um, SQL slash dbt code uh, compatible with dbt models, and I ran that, and, pre and that produced the same results as the original Informatica job. Um, over to you, Jared. Yeah, very cool. There's, there is a question that came through just while, as you were doing a demo. I, I answered it sort of a little bit, but I'd love to have you uh, chime in on a little. You know, sure. it, it, and basically, it's can, can we translate components from Informatica Cloud as well? Yes, so we have Informatica Cloud Reader, and we can attach it pretty much to any writer, whether it's SQL, PySpark, DBT, and so on. 